Okay, I believe we're ready to start. So, uh, welcome pod racing fans to um, the what is uh, should be the final round in the uh, David Stubbs tribute tournament. Was one of the earliest speedrunners of this game. Uh, and he was he was really a specialist on the amateur circuit. Um. Okay, he will work on that. Uh, thanks, Nacho, for heads up. I think all the runners are ready. Okay, look, I believe we're both ready. We're yep. all yummy. All right, I'll give the countdown. Okay. All right, four, three, two. There you go. Sorry for our apparent lack of professionalism here. <laughs> Sometimes your brain doesn't We're... work when you're trying to do two things at once. We are very professional, it's fine. Yes, yes. Anyway, so, uh, countdown has been given. Hopefully the audio is better now. Um, and... Yeah, we should be off momentarily. So, David Stubbs was one of the original runners of this game, and um, he was this last year. He has been fighting um, a terminal lung cancer, so he requested that we do this tournament in his honor, and this should be the final round of the tournament. So we are off. This is the official run here. Ooh, early oh, death yeah. from digital. That's always rough to see. Yeah, especially it gets really narrow down there. Yeah, uh -huh. especially when you're trying to go at speed. Thirty-one lap one is very nice. Um, yeah, Mikey is uh, also one of the older runners of this game. Um, he he has a tendency to simply never mess up. Um, Digital has also been with us for a couple of years, um, and he has improved quite a lot this last year. So. Uh, we'll see what he can pull off in this tournament. Yeah. Sorry, let me see the streams here. Right. I noticed that uh, Mikey has his camera a lot further back than the uh, digital. Yeah, some players prefer that camera. 1357. That is uh, incredibly fast. <laughs> I've never managed to get a time like that. And 144 is not too bad. Yeah, 144 is really good. Yeah, both, yeah both 13574 is a blazing time. Especially since they had another AI opponent on there as well. Like AI opponent, I don't think the first one was AI. Uh -huh. 
Not on the iPhone, on the track as well. Change yeah. Um, well, uh, ha having the AI opponent on there is, is a common strategy because a Bulba can clear a couple of the rocks. So you don't have to deal with them on laps two and three. That's interesting. Yeah. I always I always get annoyed there because I always crash into them. That's the problem. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, the big one right out of the canyon, um, he clears for you on lap two and three. Just probably the most, the single most annoying rock. Alright, so how this tournament works. Um, so we just did the Bunta training course. Uh, since David was a specialist of the amateur circuit, this tournament consists of doing um, each of the amateur circuit tracks. So we have six more tracks to go. The next one is Mangaza Speedway, um, which is the shortest track in the game by more than a factor of two. Um, uh, world record on the tracks currently stands at 39 point something and uh, as you can see David um, had put in a time I think within a, about a tenth of a second of the world record it is yeah his his time on Mangaza Speedway is extremely impressive um, yeah It looks like Digital Unity will be opting for Bullseye, who is a slower but much um, a safer pod on a track like this. And he left the AI runner on here. Um, th there is no advantage to having Team Do run with you on this track. But I guess he's not much of a hindrance either. Yeah, just as just, just so if you catch up to the um, AI, it will, they'll become a problem later, later on. Yeah. Uh, digital getting in a little warm up before we start. And so is Mikey. Yeah, so this is just warm up. The run has not actually started yet. Yeah, and as, as Game Draco pointed out, uh, this is probably one of the worst tracks on the Switch. Um, oh, speaking of which, uh, Digital Unity is running on the Switch. He is our uh, first and I believe only uh, participant in a tournament to run on something other than the PC. Oh, oh so he's like a cap. Is that why he's using the capture card then to stream? Yeah, the yeah, he's. Yep. Okay. Let me see if they're ready to start. <laughs> Did I beat my boot to training? <laughs> um, I guess. I don't know what your boot to training time is, Paige. Yeah, uh, Mike is just a monster on that track. Uh, that's all there is to it. Right, so, um, it's...
Sorry, I'm just waiting for the runners to both be ready. Um. Hmm. All right, I think they're ready now. Countdown. Yeah. Alright, so commentating this round is uh, much like commentating a horse race because, <laughs> you know, the, a lap is, is 14 seconds long. And when you got two of them, you got, you know, it, it, it gets insane. Oh, I need to reset the sync. Sorry. I haven't commentated uh, very many matches. Recently, so countdown has been given. Just wait, waiting for the uh, stream delay. And they are up. Alright, so Digital already finishing lap 1, 14.9 um, seconds, which is not a bad time of Bullseye, but again, Bullseye is a much slower pod on this track. Um, okay, we've got, okay, 14.42 seconds from uh, Nike Burger. Uh, just about half a second past three. Yeah. I don't know if this means you're going to sink before they finish the run. <laughs> Oh no. Oh well. 44 and 40.49. Excellent. Yeah, um, just, just shows what a faster pod can really do on that track, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, about four seconds and that's almost all down to pod selection. Um, yeah, so, uh, running on, running the game on Switch, we should maybe come and uh, say something a little bit about that. Um, so, most players, uh, do the tournament on PC simply because it is much easier to stream. You don't need a capture card or anything. Uh, PC is also the optimal, or generally the optimal, uh, platform for running this game. By but only by a small margin, um, because frame rate affects your handling characteristics, and lower frame rates are are usually better. And since the switch is locked at sixty, whereas on PC you can adjust your frame rate freely, uh, isn't which the, is uh, a small disadvantage. Yeah, isn't, isn't the normal frame rate uh, about around forty something, isn't it? Or uh, nice well, it depends. Um, on on the N sixty four, it ran at twenty four frames per second. On the Dreamcast, it ran at thirty. Um, all of the new platforms, Switch, Xbox One, and PS four, run at sixty. Yeah. Ah, welcome to Watto's shop. Huh? So. Take a look around. I got everything you need, huh? <laughs> what the arcade FPS is? I have no idea. Yeah, that, that, that'll be uh, something interesting to find out. Hmm. I. I would imagine it's probably either 24 or 30. I don't know. So digital is just getting a little bit of warm up in. Uh, oh, sorry, I haven't been updating the counter. 
I will fix that. Uh, oh, I don't I think, think Mike. Um, yeah, digital is set. He's ready. I don't think. Looks like Mike still needs a little bit of warm up. Yeah. Like the uh, digital just came in and says, uh, "Ready, uh, the ready to have a be." So that seemed like yep. uh, it feels like Mike still wants to do a little bit more uh, running for a little while and. Uh, Probably because Digital was doing quite a bit uh, beforehand, so. So, when this game is played in a, you know, casual uh, context, just, you know, the, the standard game you're playing your game for the first time, uh, the boot into training course is a really straightforward track, Mongaza Speedway is really short, and then you get to Vito's Wild Ride, which is um, the first technical track in the game. Um, it's a bunch of really straight lines, but there are a lot of places where you can die, like Mike just did. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you, you encounter this ice field, there are big jumps, there's this narrow bridge there. It's, it's very different from the two tracks that came before it. I, I always, uh, I think when I first did this, I, I was always like, wait, how can I slide on ice? There's literally no, no, no wheels on this. <laughs> uh, however, repulsor grips, man, will it work? I mean, I'm glad I don't slide all the time. I, I, I don't imagine if this entire game was just ice physics, like wipeout. Oh. That'd be really annoying to control. Uh -huh. So, so you see this tent shortcut that Mikey is taking here. Um, uh, nailing that tent at full speed is really tricky. On this track, it saves a couple of a couple tenths of a second per lap. So it's certainly worth taking, but it is easy to die on the tent entrance, and it is easy to die. Um, on the exit of the shortcut, as Mike did in the last uh, lap of his warm up. Um, and obviously, if you die, you, you, you're looking at losing four or five seconds. And so that route is only viable if you're really confident in it. Yeah. And it's clear by uh, Mikey's time uh, in the warm up that he's pretty confident in it. We have to see if he can um, do the same, well, without the crash in the second. Uh, okay, both players say they're the... ready. So, here oh, comes countdown. countdown. Oh. We'll okay. see what they can do here. Um. It's odd how the uh, Switch hasn't made any like graphical uh, changes to really the uh, game models and all that. Uh, yeah, but the it really appears that the uh, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One uh, ports of this game are based off of the Dreamcast version. Uh. Um, which was the. Uh, Best, well, the highest quality version between the original consoles. And the console ports, unlike the PC port, supported things like uh, split screen multiplayer. Yeah. Whereas the PC version doesn't. Anyway, so they are both off. 
Yep. Let's see if I can adjust that sink a little bit better. Uh, we see Ma Mikey taking an early lead here. Uh, Digital wasn't able to use all of his boost. Uh, both surviving the ice field, taking slightly different routes. The route there doesn't really matter as long as... Well, the most important thing is not dying, obviously. Yeah. And also taking slightly different routes on the off-road. Uh, the route Mikey took is newer. Ooh, wow! Uh, oh, goodness. Digital, being ambitious, looks like he died on... <laughs> Um, invisible wall standing, extending above the wall of the track there. The worst way to go. Yep. Oh, the stream's finally synced. I, I put in the sync like 40 seconds ago. <laughs> it, it, was, it was so good that no one noticed it. That's right. What got me was, uh, I think when I set up for uh, playing the game again, I mapped my uh, buttons on. So my slide button became my boost button, my boost button became my slide button. And so I had to relearn the controls all over again. Which, yeah. I, mean, I could have remapped it back, but then I got used to the fact the slide button was the boost button and all that sort of thing. So, oh no. I remapped back <laughs> to make mistakes. Uh, are you talking about on PC? Or yeah, on PC. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the way I configure my controls on PC is a bit different from most players. Anyway, um, Mikey has a clean... has run completely clean so far. And he's on yeah. his final lap. Yeah, doing the 10 shortcut is kind of crazy. Uh, we'll likely see Mikey beat David's time. Uh, simply because he used the tent. The, the tent was not um, a known strat on this track at the time that Davey did his runs. 241, okay, so he did lose some time. I wasn't paying close enough attention to tell exactly where. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ooh. Oh, and uh, Digital crashed it again on the, in, in, uh -huh. the, in the same sort of uh, area as well as last time. It's really interesting that he's climbing the wall there. That's um, an interesting strategy. Yeah, I wonder if um, if it'll get utilized later on, or if it doesn't cut enough time off before what it's worth. Uh -huh. You'll not find the better <laughs> deal anywhere, I think, huh? Have you seen uh, my chance cube? They come here, they look around, they no buy. Why nobody buy? <sighs> you will not find a better... Uh, Mikey has a tendency to check all of his upgrades after every race. Which... Uh, in, in my opinion, isn't helpful at all. But <laughs> um, you may see the runners uh, changing their traction upgrades between races um, to get some slightly different handling characteristics. Uh, which could give you an advantage on d depending on the track. All right, Eckler is classic. Uh, this is, uh, when when people get into speedrunning this game, we often point them to Eckler is classic first. Um, it is a 
a very straightforward track. Um, but also it encourages you to learn some of the more advanced mechanics in the game, like sliding, which allows you to take uh, turns tighter. Uh, sliding is necessary on the figure 8 at the end of the track and also very helpful going through the sliding doors. Yeah. It, it definitely requires um Precision turning and all as well. Um, you you got you you also need to learn some of the more annoying things about playing this game, which, uh, uh, such as um, areas where you can just uh, hit wrong and uh, explode. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah. This game has a bunch of random death spots. Um, this track has two of them. Yeah, I think there's a uh, there's one where if you go on the uh, isn't it right hand side of the uh, corner down the tunnel, yep. And then there's one if you go over a lip in some like it, I, I'm gonna say water, but it's not water. I don't know what it actually uh -huh. is. Just just a lip. Yeah. And... So when when you're learning to speedrun this game, one of the first things to do is learn the location of random death spots and either avoid them or tilt through them. Um, tilting uh, lifts your pod up off the ground a little bit more, which uh, protects you from most random death spots. So we see Mikey tilting right there, which is another one of the random death spots. There's a little uh, jump in the in the floor of the track. Like he was on the edge of the uh, boost, just just to make sure he gets every little bit out of it. So, both players say that you're ready. So... I'm just waiting for them to the full screen. Yep. Um... Digital stream froze? I don't know what that means. And he's running on Switch, so... Oh, Alright. Countdown! And they're Has off. Been given. They'll be off soon. Yeah, the uh, the switches pods uh, definitely look a lot cleaner, I think. Than, um, or uh, it might be because of the camera angle actually that they can have. But... So I, I don't know. Yeah, I think some cool. things look a little bit smoother than they do on PC. Or it might be the fact that um, the way they've been cropped actually. Uh -huh. the... Don't know if it's just me. <laughs> Probably <laughs> it's just me. Uh, the graphical quality should be identical between the PCs, a Dreamcast, and all of the new ports. I'm just uh, thinking, on the I'm just where the resolution is so low. Anyway, they're both off. Yeah, I'm just looking at the time and stuff, and the font looks different. Or it might be the fact that one's been stretched out and then squeezed back in to place. Yeah. It looks very really fuzzy. 
Anyway, both both having a very clean opening to the track. Uh, digital boosting through the doors, Mikey taking a different boost line. So uh, there are a bunch of different boost routes that you can take on this track, and everybody has their preference. It doesn't really matter much uh, which one you choose, as long as you don't waste any time not boosting and cooled off when you could have been boosting. Yeah. Well, it looks like neither player underheated, which is very good. Yeah, um, good. yeah. And, and they seem to be good pushing as, uh, as, as far as they willingly dare. Uh -huh. uh, Mikey has worked out a pretty significant lead here. Most of the time to be gained on. Ooh, there's a death oh. from digital. Yeah, I was literally watching his stream as he did that as well. But uh, yeah, he's just uh, turned uh -huh. too sharply into a turn and. Uh... Yeah. Okay, well, uh, most of the <laughs> time to be gained in this track is from uh, not dying. And after that is taking turns tight. Yeah, and, then and, and he... keeping your boost up. Uh, Mikey just has a couple turns left. Yeah, he has to just... climb up the section here and then go through the figure eight. Yep, and uh, the tool is, uh, I, I would say, not too far away, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely uh, that crash uh, in yep. a lot. 37.6. Yeah, it looked like afterwards as well, y y you can almost see the, like, he wasn't quite with it back because he whacked in some walls afterwards, so it seems like uh -huh. crashed and then gone off, oh, crashed, uh, just lost it and hit some walls again. Yeah. Didn't set a bad time though. Nope. Very strong. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, he missed my personal best by two hundredths of a second. <laughs> Probably beat my personal best, but um, I, I wouldn't have any evidence to back that up because uh, my save has uh -huh. been wiped like more times than I can count. So, um, you see, uh, David's time on screen there 237.994. Only six or actually seven uh, players have ever uh, done it faster than that. Wow. Uh, and and keep in mind that a lot of David's times there were set with older strat with older strategies. Uh, we keep making uh, new discoveries about optimal ways to play these tracks, which is which I think is always something really cool about these um, uh, tournaments as, as well, because we get to see uh, sort of like the old strategies from some players play against the more modern ones. Yeah. As people may have uh, been playing a game about a year ago for the tournament, learned these strategies and thought, that's it, that's all I need to know, and then plays the game and then someone else comes along with a more modern strategy and you get to watch how they differ. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, so uh, as, as Game Draco points out, this track is probably the single worst track in the game for Switch players because uh, they have to run at 60 frames per second, um, which increases your traction and makes it harder to slide around turns. And this, and, it, and this has got a really annoying turn at the end, isn't it? Yeah, it has a really sharp hairpin at the, at the end that you need to take at full speed. And... So optimally, you do this track at 24 frames per second, um, and being at 60 puts you at a significant disadvantage. 
there are also mates, uh, um, as we've seen, <laughs> um, but it also makes some of the more, um, I, I guess, even even some of the twitchy circuits a bit of a nightmare as well, as you've got to, you know, you, you're moving a lot, but well, it looks a lot faster on the screen as you go and buy everything. So you've, you've got to react a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, casual players are often very frequently annoyed by this track because of the jump uh, just in front of that hairpin. Um, Although it's the first time you learn that you can, well it was for me at least, the first time I learned that I could move the pod to go upwards and downwards. Yeah. It's probably the most annoying way of looking at a, uh, uh, I guess, at the controls on on. on because I was using keyboards, so uh -huh. what are you supposed to do then? <laughs> yep, so when you get to that jump, if you are um, if you are neither boosting nor pulling up, then you won't be able to clear the jump and you'll fall down and die. And, and eventually you're like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Yeah, when I first played this game, I didn't even know there was a boost button, so... Yeah, boosting is a little bit hidden. Um, in most racing games where you can boost, there's just a boost button, and you push it and you boost. Uh, in this game, you have to charge your boost by pushing forward on the stick. Um, for one second. And then once it's charged, uh, depending on which version of the game you're playing, you either let off the throttle and hit it again, or hit the boost button. That's, you know, a sequence of events that happens to happen in order to boost, and that's not intuitive. Although I think it makes the game way more entertaining than those, you just have to press a boost button to boost. Yeah. Yeah, I really love this boost charge mechanic. Um, and of course, when this game was released, games had game manuals. <laughs> so, so you read the game manual and it tells you how to do it in there. Um, newer game design, uh, we try to have, you know, in-game tutorials for stuff like that. Yeah, and um, especially when you buy this game on a Steam summer set, so, I don't know, it was a Star Wars sale, you, you don't really look for it. <laughs> There's a manual anywhere. Yep. Yep. But those were some uh, cool um, fast times set by Mikey and his warm up. Yep. E. Digital with the death. Yeah, he doesn't like he's, um, he's getting a uh, feel for the track at all. All right, so once Digital is finished with his warm-up, then we will start. Yeah. I oh. wonder if it, uh... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I wonder if it, uh, this, uh, like, um, um, on 60 FPS, if there's a different pod you, you could probably use to get, uh, to turn the, uh, Final turn better. Maybe that oh. might be a bit quicker. Um, not really. Uh, it, it's better to break with Ben for that turn but rather than using a different pod. The next fastest pod is Bull's Roar, and his traction is lower than Ben's, which is great, but his turn rate is worse. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> um, Digital got a PB on his. Uh, fast lap, so <laughs> <laughs> he, he wants to save that here. All right, here goes your camp in. We go. Yeah, so the next fastest pod is Bull's Roar, and the next fastest after him 
is Aldar Beedo. And, and Beedo can take the turn pretty well, probably even at 60 FPS, but he's just too slow. Yeah. Well, it's, it can... Okay, it's not the... It's not that Aldar Beto is slow, it's that Ben is overpowered. <laughs> ben is just broken. If you can use him, use him. Otherwise... Uh-huh. <laughs> he is the fastest pod on 23 of the 25 tracks in this game. And it always cracks me up with the fact that uh, he's the pod that blows up at the beginning of the year. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's right, he was sabotaged because no nobody wanted him to actually do the race. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. All right, runners are off. Yeah. Uh, both having clean starts. We see Mikey yeah. using tighter lines than digital is, which saves him a, a little bit of time on every turn. It's going to be um, this hairpin that's going to be, I think, the main decider. Uh -huh. uh, Digital did not die in the hairpin, which is always good to see when you're at 60 frames per second. And we see he fell behind by about two seconds on, on the first lap. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, he's got a break for that hairpin that's going to cost a, a quite a bit of time. He's yeah, it, it, just able to drift through it or slide through it. It doesn't look like he's aware that you have to break for the hairpin uh, when you're on switch. Ooh! Ooh. Mikey set up the turn bad and, and died. That's that good. actually gives Digital the lead. Oh, this yeah. is exciting. It's all down to the final lap then. Uh huh. We'll see if, if Mikey can claw it back. Uh, he's almost done it already. Ooh. Oh, and then the two crashes in a um, spectacular fashion. Uh, I missed that. Did he? Did he attempt to boost through that turn? I think uh, I, I don't remember. I think he uh, hit um, hit a wall just before the uh, going off on the bridge, not bridge, but onto the, onto the, like, the cliff road that you take for the shorter route. All right, uh, 149 is a very solid time with the death. Um, and 156 is also is also quite good with the death. Yeah. And now we come to my, I think my, I think I think of every track in this game. I think Vengeance is my least favorite. <laughs> Any of those sort of tracks with the asteroids in them, I hate them. Uh -huh. But, you know, so, yeah, there are 25 tracks in this game, and they're divided into tournaments and or circuits. And each circuit is progressively harder than the last one. Uh, but Vengeance is an outlier. It is a brutally difficult track on the amateur circuit. So you have this blind turn that Digital just went through, and then we have this really tight dark figure eight. And then we have these really narrow, tight turns that like to kill you. And then th those fan blades move. This turn is the worst. <laughs> And then around this turn, we have this door that rotates on you and gets really skinny. And then we have this really long asteroid tube that's full of rocks that, you know, are tr tr there to kill you. And the laser that he just died on. It's, this track is just evil. Um, I think I was I went back to replay uh, all the tracks before I did, I did this tournament. And um, I got stuck on one of the asteroids every oh, yes. single race. <laughs> Uh, and then you got soft Yep, yeah. and it, it drove me mad. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's a real pain. There is a there is a specific spot in the asteroid tube that is pretty easy to die, and the respawn point. Um, 
is inside an asteroid. And you can't get out of it. So we've seen that happen a couple of times in tournament where, where people just had to work with the run because they got locked in the asteroid. It's always really annoying. Yeah. Sometimes you can like alt cam out of it, but uh, uh -huh. I, I just find that uh, sometimes that also breaks the game. All you can see is just lines. Yep. Um. All right, uh, you see Mikey using um, uh, uh, one AI Razor with him, and he helps clear a couple of the rocks in the asteroid tube. Yeah, so this is like a. Uh... Uh, the first track where you had uh, an IO player can actually help you while yeah. you Yeah. We have we have a bunch of memes in the community about that thing's entire purpose being that to clear rocks. <laughs> Very efficient miner. Yep. So again, this is just warm up. Uh, yeah, and uh, we're just watching <laughs> Mickey, I guess. Uh, yep. Mikey. Some players really like the warm up. There's a stream that's really struggling here. Yeah. I've always uh, tend to just go, nah, I I'm not going to do that well anyway, I might as well just wait in the pause menu for a little while. It's a great way to drink some water and, uh... <laughs> yep. Just over a minute lap times he, um, in the warm-up for uh, Mikey so far, which is really good times in uh, this track. Not the best, but they're, they're not pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, Mikey is one of our very, well, probably our most consistent runner. Um, he always gets really close to world record times. He's also not uh, extremely aggressive. Uh, and he doesn't post a lot. He and he and he also runs a couple of other games. So I don't know what he's up to most of the time. Three oh five point five. That just uh, it's almost a second every lap. It was bit over a second to second lap and then under one for the uh, final one. Uh -huh. Obviously when uh, uh, there's room to, you know, he goes down some areas and uh, wax into a wall that can really cost a lot of speed. <laughs> um, Digital says he wants to uh, finish this three lap run because he got another one lap record. 
Uh, because of the stream delay, I assume he's talking about lap two. Yeah. Which we haven't uh, seen the end of yet. Yep. <laughs> there was some of that too. 105. All right, so we got to watch him do one more lap, and then we'll be ready to go. <laughs> We're on the pause screen as he's typing this comment in to tell us to wait for the next lap. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta protect those records, man. Um. Anyway, so times on this track. Uh. Davy has a 305.6. Oh wow, I'm just looking at the board. I have I have Davy beat by 41 milliseconds. Um and Mikey in his warm-up beat that time by a tenth. And then there are only three other runners that have ever beaten that time. Crazy enough, the world record currently stands at almost three seconds faster than that. Yeah. There's some, there's some ext there's some really fast but extremely dangerous uh, strats you can use on this track. Um, right. So Digital is just finishing up to save his lap record. Which he has done so now. I'm just going to uh, preemptively go ahead and give the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> you will now do the tournament. <laughs> That's right. No more warm up. <laughs> So we should be starting in just a few seconds. Yeah. Of course, for them, it almost feels like... Well, no, it was just the five seconds that you've been talking to. For us, we have uh, to sit through it. Oh, wait, this is interesting. Mikey is not using Fudsang now, but he was before. And Digital is, but he wasn't before. I'm confused. <laughs> Oh no, it's, it's there. Oh nice, look at that sink. I did it myself. I, you know, blindly guessing. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, that hurts, oh, an dear. early death. Oh, dear. Like the second turn. It's going to be pretty hard to catch up after that. Uh huh. Especially since uh, Mikey's been pretty much consistently, uh, I think, it's almost zero crashes, I think, in, the uh, in his warm up. So yeah. it's going to be. Mikey is uh, pretty scary in this game. It's, it's a bit of a relief to me that he's not doing the uh, main tournament this year, so I don't have to go against him. Let's see how digital handles the end of the tube. Just fine. And a 102 first lap from Mikey, which is uh, pretty fantastic. Or if the figure eight section where, where Mikey is going left left, which is slightly faster. And uh, the dream is going uh, no, right left. It's a bit slow. Is 
see how digital handles. Very nice. Another 101 from Mikey. Uh, digital oh, caught fire, but he got a quick repair. Here, Mikey approaching the fan room. There's a 113 from digital. Wait, did he die this lap? Um. Oh, I don't know if he did. That, that time see. is slow enough for a death. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard, okay? There's, there's two screens and it's all watch both of them. <laughs> uh, Mikey is going to just put. Do the end of the track trying to top off his boost. Oh, he managed to hold the boost. That is. Uh, well, he's underheating slightly. 304. Wow. That is a very fast time. Keepers. Um, hmm. That puts him in fourth place. Well, he already was in fourth place. <laughs> <laughs> on the speedrun leaderboards. And that Mikey got a 331. Not the Mikey uh -huh. 331. Um, we, we only have one track left here, which is Spice Mine Run. Um, it should be noted that on Spice Mine Run, uh, Mikey is kind of terrifying. <laughs> the times he is able to consistently put in on this track are just insane. Uh, so this track is probably the straightest track in the game. Um, they're very long straight sections and a few turns between them. And you gain time on the track by boosting at the right times and by taking those few turns very tight. And then at the end, very end of the track, there's a bunch of turns right before the finish line. Um, and uh, boost managing your boost through those turns is very uh, tricky on the final lap. And digital just finishing up his uh, lap one of warm up. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the uh, fish crash there. It's a uh, yeah, wall. In this track, the thing to watch out for is the, the um, uh, thing coming up the uh, left hand side, right down the top. Uh -huh. Little uh, train? I don't know what it is. Drone? Does everything in Star Wars have a name? Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> it goes up and down, whatever it does. Right. It's a cart of some kind. 
<laughs> wonder, it's a little oh, hard to tell because the polygon count is so low. I, I wonder if anyone's just decided to sit by and watch it go up and down the uh, little track. Um, I'm pretty sure I have before. <laughs> For absolutely no reason. It's like following the cars around GTA 5. I wonder where they actually end up going. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, the answer is everybody's just out for a, a, a drive. They don't have a destination. They just, they just drive until... Uh, Their bulletin goes the other way. Until never. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Three fifty seven. Uh, Digital's personal best is seven seconds faster than that, so hopefully he can uh, put in a much stronger run once we get started here. Mikey really taking advantage of his warm ups here. Yeah. Oh, an interesting thing about this track. Um, there are. A, uh, Mikey is approaching one right here, this bulldozer uh, that he just passed. Uh, that bulldozer and also the cart that is going up and down. Um, those are obstacles that are on a timer, and that timer starts once the track is loaded. And so, the the bulldozer um, that Mike drove past on lap three, that is it always in a position to kill a world record runs. It's always in the worst possible point when you get to it on world record pace. Um, and so we discovered, I think about a year ago, that you can manipulate where that uh, dozer will be if you, uh, if you wait to start the race by a few seconds. Alright. It's pretty clever game manipulation, that is. Uh huh. And so that is what Mikey did in that run, which is why it was in a favorable, favorable position when he got there. I uh, just gave the countdown, so we should be off here. The, the stream delay today is uh, pretty bad for some reason. It's like 40 seconds. It's not sure why. It's a big delay. Last time I commentated a match, it was like five seconds. Anyway, countdown has been given, so they should be off uh, very shortly here. I guess we should look at the true polygons of this place. And there, uh, Mikey waited to start his run to manipulate the timer.
Ben Arst is not the best interview. You get to look at more uh, Ben's very serious face when he's uh, right. going. <laughs> In the digital stream. Yeah, it's just sort of that. Yeah. He is frozen in time. Nobody knows why. Is that happening on our end or is that on his end? Uh, it's hard to say. Probably his? I don't know. Oh, I should update the score, shouldn't I? It is at oh, 60. Oh, yeah. I could have also done that. Oh, oh he's uh, back. Uh, <laughs> He just came back, stuck, and he's like, okay, I'll move again. Alright, well, uh, we missed lap one. Uh, the streams are now synced, so... That was that was just a really strong uh, sync delay. Oh, yeah. That, that was, that's uh, what that was. <laughs> that was all intended. <laughs> I think we anyway. might have missed... He crashed there. Uh, well, well, he looks kind of, kind of far apart there. Yeah, he is far enough behind to have crashed. Anyway, Mikey uh, wrapping up his lap two. Heading into his final lap. Uh, Digital uh, still has the market section here. I really like this market section. It's one of oh, my favorite yeah. sections of track in the game. Yeah, you uh, just just because it looks. It, it, it's my favorite track. He literally pings off a wall and wax, <laughs> wax into another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game likes to do that to you. I, I, I like this game because it's got a lot of different uh, colours. Um, that's probably why. It's I got a lot of variety. There's so much variety in this game. I mean, later on in the game, you're driving through jungle and volcano and ice slot canyon. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. Digital is really struggling today. Uh, Mike yeah. is finishing up his his heat is really nice. He did a great job of managing the boost there. He got a 341, which is actually a little surprising. But uh, usually yeah. he'd get like a 340 there. Yeah, and you look at his times. So he's, again, he's dropped off pretty much like a second each in each lap as well. Uh, uh, but keep in mind, though, that that 341 that Mikey got is uh, pretty well outside the realm of ability from most players. Yeah, yeah. I trust me, I know I, I couldn't do a year 341 on a good day. Yeah, it takes a lot of practice to get that time. Also, uh, I assume it was you. Well done for updating the, uh, <laughs> the wins. <laughs> oh. Sometimes my brain works. Um, see if they will come in for an interview. Yeah. Uh, so the way. The way the scoring works in this tournament is you are ranked against the time set by all the other players. Um, 
Hello, Mikey. Hello. Yeah, digital. Hi. Very nice friends. Yeah, okay. they were all practices. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The actual ones that went into the tournament logs are trash. <laughs> So I suggested oh. you stop stop doing practice runs and just so that when you do your you know just do one run of each track basically. <laughs> yep. It's the same reason I never studied for tests during school. <laughs> it's all, it's all practice sense. testing yeah. you don't study. Yeah, it's kind of a psychological thing, isn't it? Because like you do a really good time and then it's like, oh, I, hang on, I've got to try and do better than that. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. No, it's more along the lines of I'd get a really good time and I'd think, ah. Oh, well, I must be ready. And then I'd blow it on the next one because I was overconfident. <laughs> I'd think, okay, that was a clean run. I didn't die once. That means I know what I'm doing. Let's go. And then I'd die every lap. Multiple That's times. That's what life's all about. <laughs> Life is all about dying multiple times. Yes. If you can do that, you're doing something great. Or something very <laughs> wrong. I'm not sure what Mm. You're either blessed or a necromancer, if that's the case. Or rather, a lich. Uh -huh. You could be a phoenix. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but then you'd be a bird. <laughs> so, uh, Mikey, you beat uh, three of David's times during your runs. Oh, that's, that's good to know. <laughs> uh, I hadn't uh, looked they... at him in a while. Yeah, they were Eckler's Classic Vengeance and a Spice Mine, of course. Yeah. I guess I didn't even come close. Um, I think his Spice Mine runs probably his weakest track, I guess. Yeah. Probably. So, um... Uh, uh, Mikey, you are the head moderator for this tournament. <laughs> I am. <laughs> this is the final round, correct? Well, that um, there might be another one. That's the thing, because um, there were still two players, potentially, who might be joining. Because, obviously, my intention was to announce the results and that kind of thing. But I kind of wanted to wait till that was done. I mean, if necessary, I mean... If, if I can't get two more players, then I'll just do like a separate stream or something where I will announce the results on there and uh, say a few things, obviously, because this tournament obviously is for David. So, um, right. you know, yeah. so uh, obviously it would be nice to uh, conclude it. And um, yeah, thanks for uh, obviously for everybody who's participated and to my, uh, you know, my competitor digital unity as well. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> I, I'm aware that I got into the, the sign-ups on this one way late, but it's just work was busy. It hasn't stopped being busy. Yeah, well, it's, it's quite a relaxed event, really. There's not too much, like, um, you know, pressure to, you know, apply on deadlines so much. So it was, you know, it was kind of intended to be like that. I mean, with the, obviously, with the annual event going on, which is obviously a lot of rounds and things, so. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Right, right. I think uh, I just feel bad because this is like a memorial tournament and my performance was garbage. <laughs> I did, it doesn't I matter. You're paying like... respects to somebody with the worst runs of my life. I feel bad. <laughs> no, it's just, yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's it's kind of tough in a way because it's only seven races and it's one match. And if you, if you kind of screw it up, it can... Um, I don't know if I should say that or not, but... Uh, you know, it's, it's obviously not, not great for you, but it's, you know, you can only do so much, you know, if you've only got one match. I mean, you just need, you know, just have an off day or something and it, it could kind of go wrong. So it's not really meant to be ultra serious or anything. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about it too. Yeah. I think, I'm sure, you know, David's very happy. Well, I know for a fact that he's very pleased to think that so many people are sort of, you know, supporting him. And obviously, you know, this is a great way to, uh, you know, show that, I think so. Yeah, that's very uh, true. Yeah, Davey was a just a fantastic guy. It was always so fun to to talk to, and um, 
and do tournaments with. He participated in our first tournament um, that we had a couple years ago. And he was always so fun to, to have on. Yeah, it's a shame that he suffered a little bit with his um, some streaming issues, I think, in that tournament. But um, yeah, otherwise, I think he'd have been a lot more competitive. And I think I think that's true for a lot of players as well. I, th I think David actually at the time was like using uh, the same as what I used to play on, which was the like a Windows ninety eight. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ninety eight. <laughs> so it's kind of disadvantage, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he he had started running the game on. Well, yeah, he was running before the the newer PC release was made, right? I th I think he was always on uh, Windows ninety eight, or maybe I think maybe he played it on XP for the tournament. But I think <laughs> <laughs> we know Windows ninety eight is the best PC uh, operating system because it's got the biggest number. Like, what does Windows 10 have? Just you know, right. 10, much less than 98. Uh, obviously, Windows 98 is 9.8 times better. <laughs> By this logic, the Xbox 360 is the peak of consoles. <laughs> Microsoft really dropped the ball with the Xbox One. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I missed the sounds, actually. I think I think the sound on Windows was better, but well, I suppose that was my speakers, probably. But, yeah. I, I, do, I do really <laughs> miss the Windows sounds, yeah. Well, oh, oh, unlike I you guys, I still have a Windows 98 computer, so I'm fine. Oh, do you? Nice. I yeah. think you got an XP install disk somewhere. <laughs> That's exciting. It'd probably be worth money if the key still worked, but I don't think it does. <laughs> yeah. Obviously used secondhand. I mean, what is Microsoft going to do? Sue you well, for using a used Windows XP? Are you no, sure? No, but though? they're not going to let you register it. You shouldn't have to. Because uh, I'm pretty I... sure in that era, Microsoft was not assuming that their users had internet access, so it should activate just fine. Yeah, same with like Windows 7, you can pretty much get away, before you update it, you can get away with just using a used key. Um, but uh, as soon as you update Windows 7, it will assume you have internet access. And... Uh -huh. Yeah, it's cool. interesting. So it should work. <laughs> if you can get a computer to run it on. I'm gonna dual boot it on my laptop. <laughs> That's right, and then... And then you can run the original release of Star Wars Episode One Racer on it. Well, after you figure um, how all the drivers work. Yes. Yeah, there's a couple other <laughs> problems with that. Um, even on old versions of XP, I remember this because I, I played this game a lot on XP. There was a patch or something that you needed to download and install anyway to fix uh, whiteout glitches on... Oh, man. And Doby Mountain Run? Uh-huh. Or Howler Gorge? One of those two. Hmm. That's an infamous one that I ran into a lot. Was uh, Whiteouts. Yeah, it's, it's true, actually. And actually, for me, I, I, I couldn't even get the game to run because it, it was like 16-bit, and obviously you need 32. So I had to download a patch for like a 32-bit version of the game anyway. So yeah, but yeah it worked on XP. Huh. After a fashion, well, yeah. Uh, we should probably be wrapping this up, guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, very fun to have this tournament. Thank you, thank you for hosting it for us, Mikey. Oh, and also thank you very much. Gaming. Yeah, thank well, you. Very thank much everyone who tuned in for giving me stage fright. <laughs> I, I don't think many people in the Twitch chat can uh, say anything about your uh, driving. You know, not many. Maybe one or two percent. <laughs> one or two percent. That would that would be like one comment. Oh, are there only a hundred? Yeah, let's see if I can find one comment where that somebody said something bad about you. I thought we had, I, I honestly, like, expected this being a speed gaming channel for it to be, like, you know, maybe, like, 500 to 1,000. Uh, no, we're, we're on speed gaming 3. 
Uh, if Is we were on the, the main West channel, we'd one? have a couple hundred viewers. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't think anybody said anything bad about you. So, uh... um, oh, that's some nice. People, some people <laughs> said something about uh, about um, vengeance. Uh, someone said, "I'd argue it's just okay." I, I just ignored them because you know. Uh -huh. I'd argue not... it's just okay. <laughs> Listen here, buddy. <laughs> There's a reason you dig two graves when you take vengeance. One for yourself and the other for yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you blow up the first grave accidentally. Yeah. Alright, well, you guys are right. We should probably get going on this one. Yep. Uh, thank you so much for, for running. Uh, thank you for watching. It's It's been great having this, this special tournament. I can't yeah. wait to read the results please the results page and see that I came in last. <laughs> I, I yeah. doubt it. I doubt yeah, it. I, I you, very much doubt you it. definitely beat me. Oh yeah, no, as <laughs> as much as I joke, I am like at the very least average. I qualified in the middle for the annual tourney, so Yeah, but there's yeah. a lot of a lot of good players now. I wouldn't say that the middle's average anymore, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. I think the middle sure. is above average? Yeah. For once in my life, am I above par? <laughs> Wait, that's bad. That's bad. Wait, you should, you need to be below par. Below par. <laughs> yeah, but obviously. So then yeah. subpar is good. Yeah, because it's below. Yeah, it's... I'm, I'm so lost. confused. Terminology yeah, so... has taken on quite a turn. Anyway, so we'll, we'll wrap cool. this up here. So, uh, thank you guys. Um, thanks for watching. We will. Um, oh. Right, uh, plug the main tournament. The main tournament is... The, our main annual pod racing tournament is just starting. So uh, we have actually the first match of that uh, scheduled. Tomorrow. Like that page. Yeah, it's, it's scheduled for next Friday, but there will probably be some matches before then. So keep Friday an eye on the night gaming Funk schedule. Or racing. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean... Hopefully with this event, I mean, you know, the next match, I'm hoping there'll be one more and then obviously uh, we'll be able to um, conclude that. Um, yeah, and obviously I will I will post the results as well because that's the thing I didn't have. Obviously, I can't keep track of scores while I've been playing. So I'll obviously that's why I'd like another match to do that. So obviously if there's any other couple of other participants just for one more match, just in case I can't get anybody would be good. Um, obviously, again, you know, thanks to everybody for uh, supporting this event and um, for um, That's No Good and King Mean Dip supporting in commentary and uh, for obviously for game Speed Gaming for hosting. So thank you very much. Thank you. We'll uh, see you guys later. Yeah, thanks for providing the much needed flair that I couldn't give because I had my microphone off for professional reasons. <laughs> Y'all have a great night. All right, take care, guys. See you. See you.